there's clearly evidence now from multiple studies that in patients with CML and chronic phase who start an ABL tyrosine kinase inhibitor, if they do not achieve a BCR ABLE ratio on the international scale of less than 10%, they have a worse prognosis. And it's important to understand that that's not only in achieving surrogate um, milestones, endpoints such as molecular response and cytogenetic response later on, but the most important, it's a decrease um, progression-free and a worse overall survival if patients don't achieve that milestone at three months. Um, at, uh, in the session, I also discussed some data that was presented by the Australian group, and uh, Sue Branford presented the data. Um, and what she suggested um, was that, again, patients in their uh, study who didn't achieve that milestone at three months had a worse progression-free and overall survival. However, if patients um, remained on imatinib and achieved a six-month goal uh, of a BCR ABLE ratio of less than 1%, um, those patients uh, seem to be salvaged. In other words, those patients ended up having um, a progression-free and overall survival um, similar to patients who did not achieve the BC, you know, um, who did achieve the BCR ABLE ratio of less than 10% at three months. So they could be salvaged by that way. Um, but you have to be very careful in interpreting that data because during that time period of six months, some patients progressed and we don't have, you know, PCR data on them. They progress to more accelerated uh, phase and, and blast crisis.